Here we are again in Sander and Steve Love of Stroke Talk Show. This morning, we talk about cold weather and how does it affect people with stroke. So stay tuned. Okay, Steve, uh, as people can probably see, we're wearing our winter uh, stuff. Please, yeah. winter stuff, yeah, you know, because it's off. getting cold now, you know, and the sun outside, you know, is very gloomy. Oh, yeah. uh, it doesn't appear at all that there's a there's sun. Nine, you know? nine, nine degrees today, Sandra. Yeah, yeah. nine degrees. Is, uh, temperature is cold and it's yeah. chilly, you know, and it can only get worse as uh, weeks go by uh, towards the winter. And a question is always uh, being asked, you know, how do people with stroke uh, relate to uh, the cold weather condition? And uh, so we'll start with Steve, you know. Yeah. Uh, tell us, Steve, how does uh, this uh, cold weather affect you? Whether you like it, whether, what do you think? To be honest, Sandro, if I was rich, mm -hmm. once it got cold, I'd fly off somewhere warm. Mm. The cold weather and me now do not mix. Mm. You know, even when the top drops a little tiny bit, mm. I'll put the heat heating on. Mm -hmm. And when it gets like real winter, my arm, the stiffness in my shoulder especially, mm. goes like that, goes real stiff. Mm. 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 You know, I'd rather put yeah. it like a, mm. something to heat on it to ease mm. it off. But mm. when I go out for a walk, I find walking harder, mm -hmm. like in the winter time. You know so I mean? you find yourself more stiffer. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah definitely. Yeah, and I say I, I, mm. I dread mm. one morning when I wake up and it's like snowing. I've never mm. walked on the snow. Mm. Mm. I, I think, oh dear, mm. or, you know. Mm. So the, the coldness in me mm. definitely done it yeah. mix. Have you had any patients before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, a lot of my patients with uh, spasticity, you know, on the affected yeah. side, actually uh, have reported the same uh, situation. Steve, uh, they said that. Uh, uh, the spastic muscles are getting more spastic, you know, oh, right. and they even reported that when they walk out in the cold, even if they wear a jacket and they're really wrapped up, uh, they still feel that the affected side is cooler than the good side, oh, you know, right. yeah. yeah, and that is uh, what they mean is the whole affected side, you know, the affected leg, affected arm is cooler, it, and I think it has something to do with muscle activity still because oh, uh, right. you know if there is less muscle activity there because it's affected side then most likely the circulation is not as good in that area and if the circulation is not that good that means uh, that area will be cooler oh, you know right. because circulation brings about heat you know and muscle action muscle contraction and relaxation actually helps with the circulation and if that is not happening uh, as much, you know, because it's like I said, it's affected. Then so it will be cooler. So, so instead of me booking booking a flight to do to Dubai, where it's mm, warm for a while, mm, mm. what can I do to ease the? Um, yeah, uh, the, the best way to do it, in, Steve, in uh, if you go out in um, in the open, let's yeah. say uh, you go outdoors, uh, go for a walk. I would advise to wrap up really well. Wear gloves, you know. Um, layer up, layer so up, you know. Now I can I can manage yeah. to get a glove on yeah. now. If mm. so. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't wear gloves. Never, I didn't wear gloves before. I know stroke. it's hard to wear a glove but on I'll, the I'll, affected I'll, side. But yeah. I'll be able to put a glove on now. Yeah. Right. Mm. But people out there might not be able to put a glove on, might they? Yeah, because to wear a pair of gloves, Steve, you need to be able to stretch your yeah, fingers. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah I can do but that now. For some people uh, who have no uh, voluntary control of finger extension, thumb extension like that, it's really hard to yeah. wear gloves, you know, even if uh, with assistance. Yeah. So the best way to do it is, uh, uh, I don't know, you've seen. Uh, uh, snowboarder's glove, you know, snowboarder. Is that half? Yeah, no, all the four fingers are actually wrapped together and there's a thumb that separates, you know, the, the, the rest of the four fingers. And like that, the glove is instead of oh. being individually. Uh, could uh, could you we know. show a little picture of that? Yeah, yeah, I'll show it now, here, right here. Yeah, yeah. okay. Now, wear that the glove instead, the snowboarder's glove. Oh, that, I'm, yeah, I'm, and then, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm interested in that myself. Yeah, the thing is, uh, there's no dexterity there. If you wear it on your good side, you know, yeah. there's no dexterity there because the, the all four fingers are wrapped together. Are they are they yeah. expensive? Oh, not really. No, it's, it's cheap, Steve. You know, it can be expensive, but you don't buy the expensive stuff, you buy the cheaper ones that you can afford. If the fingers are together, they're actually warmer because they, 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 they yeah. help each other. You know, uh, when they're close to each other, they help with the circular, you know, with the heat, you know, uh, in, in keeping the heat inside, you know, so rather than when each individual fingers are wrapped individually, you oh, know. That's, yeah, that's, that's, so that's get, get that uh, uh, snowboarder's glove, you know, and uh, as shown in the picture. Oh, right. Yeah. So, so when I go for, send, I, I have been for yeah. walking, like mm. in the wintertime before, but when I, when I used to go out, I used to like, like I said, keep myself mm. warm, but mm. I still feel it, no matter how many clothes I had on, yeah, yeah. I feel it mm. more here. Mm, mm, right in yeah. the shoulder and once that gets sore yeah. then your arm gets locked up and yeah, all that yeah. 
But when, yeah. when, when yeah. you come inside and start like stretching mm. up, that mm. heat is mm. off. You know, when it yeah. is off, it's plasticity and cold do not get along very well. Yeah. You know, in, in fact, the cold will enhance spasticity. You know. But one good thing about the cold steam, yeah. it's actually easier to stretch uh, a muscle, you know, oh, right. a spastic muscle. You know, in fact, uh, some really severely spastic muscles they use uh, uh, cold ice, you know. Oh, yeah. Right. And uh, uh, some practices in other parts of uh, the world, they uh, uh, where uh, the country is very warm, yeah. like back in the Philippines, they have a ice uh, cube. Let's say the bicep is very spastic, yeah. and they cannot straighten the arm. Oh, wow. They put ice around the bicep and stretch and, 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 and stretch the arm uh, uh, slowly, and it will relax the bicep with the cold. Oh, wow. You know, so that's one good thing about the the, the cold. If you have physio, and uh, part of the management of that physio seeing you is uh, stretching, stretching uh, your spastic muscle groups, then uh, cold weather is. An advantage, you know. Oh, wow. so but people... on your own, let, let's say on your own, yeah. Without physio, without stretching, oh, you, you know, know then yeah. uh, it, it will just stiff and like that. And yeah. it will have, you have some pains and you feel the coldness of the arm of the leg, you know, when you're outside. When, if I'm outside, right? Yeah. That's the thing. That's why I stopped going for walk when it's cold. Mm. Once my arm got cold, mm. that was it. Yeah. For the day, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. I'd come in and, um, but I'm, I yeah. am planning when it gets cold, when it gets like dark, to go mm. out for a loads of walks. Yeah, yeah. A, mm, yeah. I've said before in my mm. um, videos, I've been building my leg up for last year, mm, mm, doing a lot of ex mm, doing a lot mm, of biking and stuff like that. Mm. I think it's ready now to now go to the mm. next level mm. to go for walks mm. to build up the um, the muscle meat hip, mm, you, know, mm, you know, stuff yeah. like that. So that's what I'm planning yeah, to do. Your endurance, you know. Yeah. And uh, you you do a target distance walking where you gradually uh, increase your distance. Yeah, day, just around the know? block and then you yeah. know, stuff like and one that. One good thing about the gold is uh, most likely you can. Uh, walk longer because uh, the heat actually makes you uh, require more energy, you know, yeah. more, more calories, you know, but uh, the cold actually, you know, conserves some of this uh, uh, energy a little bit, you know, so it can go for longer. Well, I think, think but, uh, you can manage your, your, mm. your stiffness in the cold mm. when the weather comes, um, when it, it mm. comes a bit warmer, that would help it, wouldn't it, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah. to say. Mm. Just yeah, like, so don't be put off by the cold. No, Although you feel that. cold on that affected side, don't be put off. You know, do something about it. Wrap it, up, wear uh, the snowboarder's glove. Yeah, and do uh, stretch before you go. Yeah, do stretching. Yeah, you know, before well, you it, go and after you go, you know. If well, I stretch, put yeah. me, me, me affected arm down on me work service. It goes goes flat. Then yeah, I'll just flatten your hand, flatten your hand against the wall like yeah. that, or you can even stretch it yourself like that. You know, I've, I've got a balloon yeah. as well. I'll, you know, yeah. tap the balloon up like that, and then then I can put a glove on then. Mm -hmm. If your arm is like that, you know, try to straighten it, straighten it like that, and straighten it, straighten the fingers. You can hold it like that and straighten, really straighten the fingers and the thumb and the hand, you know. Like and then, that. then put your glove on. Yeah, put your glove on, you know. Yeah, and um, hopefully uh, you, you, you feel better, you know. And I think, the, think when you start going out for a walk, when it's when it's, when when it's war, I think it, it will hmm. do you good, do yeah, you more yeah. good than hmm. bad. Yeah, yeah. So don't be put off by the cold. Yeah. But that's what put me off going out when mm. it was cold. That's why I haven't mm. done a lot of walking outside mm. in, in the mm. winter time. But we'll yeah. do. When it gets, mm. yeah. I like, I like going. I like the coldness of you know the evening, mm. like seven, eight o'clock when mm. it gets dark. Mm. I like going mm. out then. Mm. Okay, so we'll leave it like that for now, and hopefully we'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Bye.